Where I grew up, you had to either join the police force, the army, the uh, become a footballer, or be be a crook. So that was it. Ah, oh, it's pretty hectic, pretty horrific. You know, a lot of violence, bloodshed, mayhem. Apart from that, it's a lot of just uh, sitting around waiting. Yeah, die of boredom. No different than American jails now. I gave Kevin Tyler the razor blade and he's holding me out like that and he's going, I said, what are you doing, mate? He said, I'm trying to be gentle, mate. I said, you can't be gentle, you idiot. Hack through it. You know, and that sound that makes him run his finger down a blackboard at school. Made that sound going all the way through my head because the amplifier was turned up on my ears and I could hear the sound going all the way through my head. It was shocking. And that Quentin Tarantino <laughs> movie, Reservoir Dogs, because there wasn't much blood in that <laughs> ear cutting scene. When you cut off someone's ear, it just doesn't stop bleeding. It just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and bleeds. It doesn't stop bleeding. Nothing stops it. You can hear the head with a claw hammer. I got stabbed through the heart with an ice pick. A sharp and seven and a half inch screwdriver. Yeah. Come out the back, they had to take me to the hospital in a yellow cab because they couldn't lay me down and put me in the ambulance. And when they got me, got me to hospital, the doctor that cut my ears off, that he sewed my ears back on, put his fingers up there and just pulled the, the screwdriver out like that. I said, wasn't that risky? He said, well, if you've heard about the bloke with the, the axe through the head. You take him up to the operating theatre, you've got 15 surgeons standing around waiting to operate. Someone's got to pull the bloody axe out. He said, someone would have had to pull that screwdriver out anyway. He said, the fact that you were standing there means it meant it wasn't through the heart, it was through the, through the arteries like that. There was a screwdriver and there was a arteries around it. So I hadn't, hadn't gone through the heart. And who was actually responsible for that? Uh, a Yugoslav guy called Hello, Hello Buddy. He never used to say anything except Hello Buddy. I walked past him, I forgot to say hello buddy, and he stabbed me in the heart with a 17 half inch screwdriver. Yeah. He's dead. Died in jail. No fault of mine. Someone you stabbed him in the heart with a 17 half inch screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> Three days after, after, after he stabbed me. <laughs> oh well, thanks to uh, the Australian side of the war that's been going on in Melbourne, uh, they've killed them all. Really? <laughs> Virtually, yeah. I think killing someone does change someone as a person. You become more mellower, mellows you out a bit. Yeah. You know, I'm very mellow these days. If I was any more mellow, I'd be in a bloody coma. <laughs> I believe in God, but I will. Uh, most people that have killed people believe in God. I've got a passport, but they won't give me a bloody visa to go anywhere. Because I've done longer than 33 months in jail, I can't get to England. Bloody <laughs> isn't it? Mm. Only, only happened once, I, I, and I said, listen, uh, come, up, come up out of the audience and cut me freight with the bottle you can't hold on. And I said, I'll give you a head start off <laughs> mother. You know, and so he didn't bother getting out, didn't bother coming up. Just stood there like an <laughs> idiot. Uh, uh, yeah. I rode a motorbike around the block once, couldn't get it out of first gear. <laughs> what do you think of these guys doing backflips on them? Oh, f***ing crazy. Oh, f***ing insane. I wouldn't do it. No way, well, no, no way in the world. There's different sorts of bravery. There's that sort of bravery and there's other sorts of bravery. I haven't got that sort of bravery. <laughs>